Hello friends, and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, IB All Designing Developer. Like in the previous videos, we have covered up many of the things using Java and many different languages, and I hope you enjoy that. So today, in this video, we'll be working on Android development series because you all know that I've also started the Android development series in which I've telling you about what is Android development and how you can build projects using Android development, like building apps using Java, like that all stuff. So today, I will be telling you that what is uh, just activity and in the start i will be telling you that how to use this android linear activity and what is this android linear activity so in, i will be uh, just explaining you that we'll be not building any of the project in this video just i will be explaining you through one website and in the uh, starting means when we'll be moving on to project i will be telling you that what is the website name what is the url of that and how you can move on to their website to learn about linear layout activity so i hope you'll be understanding this video also of linear layout activity so if you understand enjoy this video so remember to hit a like and if you're new on this channel hit the subscribe button and after subscribing it notification bell as well so more people can learn and they can understand how we can build these amazing projects using these all amazing languages so now we'll be starting with our project and seeing that what is linear layout activity and how we can work with linear layout activity so i will be explaining you that then in the next video we'll be building project using this linear layout activity from the start so now we'll be starting with our project here so in the starting i'm telling you that today we'll be just working on with our project so i'm not telling you in the start like what we are working i'm only telling you we are working with linear layout activity but basically this is not the linear layout activity it is a life cycle activity and i will be telling you that what is a life cycle activity here so if i move to my google chrome and if i write here activity so you can see it will be saying me that uh, you can say Android activity life cycle. So today we will be learning about what is Android activity life cycle and how we are working with Android activity life cycle. So we'll be not building any of the project using this Android activity life cycle. I will be only explaining you in this video. Then in the next video, we'll be building projects with using this because it is not too much, uh, you can say easy thing. So we cannot directly move on to project and build project using this. Uh, first of all, we have to understand what is this Android activity lifecycle. Then we can move on to build our projects using this thing. So now I will be pressing this Android activity lifecycle. You can write here Android activity lifecycle like this. If you don't know about that, so you can write here and you can learn things from here. So there are many of the sites which you can see about Android activity lifecycle. You can see this. But the main website, which is the main uh, website of Android development, it, it is HTTPS developer.android.com. It is the official site of Android development. So you have to just move on to this and you have to just press this, the activity lifecycle at the first, which is coming Android official website. So here I will be now pressing this link here. So it will be taking me to the activity lifecycle of the Android Studio original link. So this is the original link of the uh, activity lifecycle. So there are many of the sites which is telling you about uh, activity lifecycle, but this is the real activity lifecycle means it is the original activity lifecycle this website will be telling you about because it is the official site of Android development. So now you can see the activity lifecycle heading is here. Then it is telling you that as a user navigate throughout of and back to your app means it is telling you about basically what is the activity lifecycle and how you can just move on and how you can just navigate through activity lifecycle like this it is telling that all stuff so if i move down here now it will be telling you you can read this all stuff if you want to read and if you le want to learn about activity lifecycle basically so here basically now it will be telling you that uh, what is like activity lifecycle concept so this is the main thing which i want to tell you like activity life cycle concept these are the main thing you have to just see this thing here means uh, this thing is really important for the beginners if they don't know about activity life cycle and if they want to learn about that so this is the android activity life cycle which we are getting first of all uh, for using android uh, like uh, activity life cycle the class you have to just work with the classes here so there are many of the class which you can use here to work with activity life cycle because you can see it is also telling me class provide a core set of six callbacks means it will your class when you will be creating using activity lifecycle it will be providing you set of six callbacks here which will be on create on start on resume on pause on stop and on destroy so these are the set of callbacks which you can just use when you are working with activity lifecycle concept so basically this is the thing which you want to understand and which you want to learn and you have to just uh, you have to just take this set of uh, six callbacks which you are getting in your mind you have to just uh, stick th this all six sets uh, which you are getting in your mind so it will be 
uh, just you can say it will be easy for you when you are working with activity life cycle and if you know these six set uh, if you know this six sets which we are getting it will be easy for you to build project using activity life cycle here so it is now telling you figure one what is figure one figure one presents a visual representation of this paragraph you can see we are getting a uh, at the right side we are getting a simplified illustration of the activity life cycle you can see we are getting activity launch from here activities launch from here then we are getting the on create tag which i have telling you this is the on create first callback from the six sets of callbacks which we are getting this is the on create then the second callback we are getting is on start third callback we are getting uh, on resume then after this we are not getting any callback just activity will be started running means when you will be writing these three callback so your activity will be started running then if you want to pause your activity from here you can use this pause activity means on pause activity you can use after using this callback you can just move down and if you want to stop your activity which is running here so you can use on stop callback which which we are getting at the top in the six sets of uh, callback value and if you want to destroy means if you want to end your activity running means if you want to create new activity or if you want to finish this activity you can use on destroy to uh, finish your activity and then you can just act your activity just directly shut down with this on destroy tag or means on destroy callback value which you are getting then after this you will be getting this app with higher priority need memory means if you are having the high priority app you are using so it will be needing more memory in your pc and it will be uh, app will be cleaned your process if you are having low quality pc or if you are having low quality laptop so when you are running this uh, higher priority app in that with the low memory so it will be destroying your app means you will be getting the command of app process killed you will be getting this callback value here then at the top it is telling me user will navigate to the activity then you can again navigate to your activity using on create callback value then you can again start to run your activity and if you want to stop or destroy your activity you can again use these all time then we are also getting on restart means if you have stop your activity and if you want that it should be restart means for means many of the people do by mistake like they stop their uh, callback or if it is not running so they stop their callback but then they get the solution of like how we can run that callback value so you can just uh, use this odd start callback value which is from the core set of six callbacks you can use this on restart value and after using on restart value again you can start your activity and then your uh, activity will be again started running so this is the on restart tag which plays a really important role when you have stopped your activity and if you want to restart it again you can use this on restart uh, callback value here so this was the thing which is uh, which i want to tell you about this chart and about this activity life cycle concept so if i move down then you will be getting again the uh, you can say paragraph about this you can read it but i'm telling you in the short uh, you can say i'm telling you in the short form like how you can run it and how you can launch your activity how you can stop it and how you can restart like this i'm telling you in the short then if you uh, you can say if the user returns to the activity it resumes from where the user left off this is the thing which i've telling you like if user want to restart their value so he can he can use this on start callback function from which he can just start with his activity running again and if the user uh, you can say if the system likelihood of killing a given process along with the activity in it depends on the state of the activity at the time it is telling that if the system if you are using the system and it is giving you the command or you can say if it is giving you the uh, tag of like killing a given process so you can just use it along with the activities and it depends on the state of the activity which you are using at the time so this is the thing then we are just getting depending on complexity of your activity you probably don't need to implement all the life cycle method means if you are having the uh, good complexity of your activity so you don't need to uh, implement all these effects you can directly use the on start or on resume uh, callback function and then you can run your activity directly but if you want to just uh, run it from start so you can run it from start if you want to learn about all the callback functions which we are getting means six callback function we are getting and this is the seventh callback function from which you can restart your uh, activity again then uh, these are the life cycle callbacks which we are getting you can learn about these callbacks where you like i'm telling you we are getting six callback functions when we are working with activity life cycle so these are the 
six uh, callback functions like on create we are getting first you can just read about what on create do and how you can use on create where you can use on create and uh, when we are working with projects so where we have to use on create means these are the thing which will be telling you about life cycle callback functions so this is on create you can just read the code in kotlin also and in java also because when we work with android studio or android development so we use java but you can also use kotlin it is the advanced level thing so we will be working with java because uh, java is the uh, you can say easiest thing which we can work when we are building mobile apps or when we are using android development we will be also working with kotlin but moving forward when we will be understanding java then we will be moving on to kotlin so it will be easy for you to understand kotlin codes and now this uh, these are the things which is telling you about on create like how you can use on create where you can use on create text so th there you can use like with, you can use it with public void you can use it with super tag you can also use it with the if value if you want to use like this you can just work with then this is the override tag where you can use your public on restore instant state value from the bundle save in state uh, save instant state so like this you can use on create values here or you can say on create call function then this is the on start call function which is the second call function on from our six set of core call functions here so uh, you can just read about this on start function directly its work is to just start your android life cycle or you can say start your android activity which you are doing then on resume works to resume your activity if you have stopped your activity and if you want to resume that activity you can just resume that when you have paused your activity using the on pause tag so you can just use on resume value or on resume callback function to resume your android activity again then this is the code of the, uh, and uh, resume activity like how you can resume it you have to just move to lifecycle dot event then you have to just write this on resume tag to resume your value here then these are the uh, preceding code which you are getting here then on pause value it is which work is to just pause your value which you are using when, uh, means when you are running your android uh, activity and if you want to pause it means if you are going anywhere so if you want to pause your activity you can use this on pause value or you can say on pause call function to pause your activity directly so these are the things here like this you can learn about on stop value as well and you can also read about what is on destroy and these are the activity state and ejection from memory so this was the thing which i want to tell you about what are the android uh, activity lifecycle and how you can use android activity lifecycle here so i've telling you about that using this uh, uh, you can say using this simplified illustration of activity lifecycle so i hope you understand what is uh, android activity lifecycle and i hope you understand about android activity lifecycle so if you have understood enjoy this video so remember to hit a like and if you are new on this channel hit the subscribe button and after subscribing hit notification bell as well so more people can learn and they can understand how we can build these projects using these all amazing languages so just I'll be with you in next project and in the next project we'll be building project using Android development and I hope that will be helpful for you. So just now I'll be with you in next project with more amazing things and more amazing tutorials for today. Good. Bye.